Hey everybody, it's MMFQ Death here from MMFQ Team, and today I'm here to give you guys another tutorial, which I actually haven't done in quite a while. Now hold on, let me uh, move this real quick. Okay, so, um, and this. <laughs> Alright, anyway, so now we're going to be into the tutorial, and the tutorial today is to show you guys how to make Windows 8 look and work identically to Windows 7. So for those of you out there who like the security and performance improvements of Windows 8, but you just hate that new UI, or you just don't like certain things about it for whatever reason, well, I have a solution. So anyway, uh, both of these programs that I'm going to be showcasing in this tutorial are made by Stardock. Um, you need to purchase them, or you can use them for a 30-day evaluation trial. Uh, you go to Stardock's website, select them, and then uh, give them an email address, and they will email you the .exe. You just, well, a link to the .exe on CNET, you open it up, and install, and then start trial. Anyway, the first one is Modern Mix. You can easily switch modes from the overlay in the top right-hand corner of your Modern Mix applications or by pressing FN. Go ahead and hit Next. Now you can see that there's Windowed, Maximized, and Full Screen. Modern Applications, which is the new UI version of any app in the Windows Start menu, can be in three different modes and you can configure which mode you want and when from the control panel. And that's pretty much it for Modern Mix. I mean, you have some other settings here, but none of them are really all that great. So when launched from the Windows 8 Start menu, which is the modern start menu, um, I personally like mine to go full screen if I'm gonna launch them from the start menu, but when launched from the Windows desktop, I want them in a window. Um, how would you like to switch modes? Show Modern Mix Control Overlay in the top right-hand corner to switch modes. Yeah, don't really need to. Um, yeah, we'll shut that off. Okay, so enable the Modern Mix hotkey to switch modes, which is going to actually be F11, because that's the full screen key, for those of you who don't know. Um, you guys can check out the advanced app settings and all that stuff if you want. I don't need to. Because I'm not actually going to be keeping these, I'm perfectly fine with how Windows 8 works, so yeah. The next one is called Start 8. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Also by Stardock. So, the cool thing about Start 8 is it adds one of the biggest and most requested features about, um, or most hated features about Windows 8 and requested about Windows 7, the Start menu. The classic, regular, everyday start menu. Now if you do have this program and for whatever reason you want to go back to the Windows 8 start menu, that is an option. Um, well, kind of. This Windows 8 start menu will still appear down here. Like, uh, I don't know if it works right now. Yeah, see, it'll appear down here, which is, I thought, like, was a pretty cool idea to have a Windows 8, like, start menu down here. That was, I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. Anyway, we're going to go to the Windows 7 style, and there's a bunch of different styles. So, like, you have the default theme with black edges, um, the solid theme, which is like uh, Windows Classic, uh, Windows 7 start menu theme, default theme, um, which the default theme, all it basically is, is it's the same as the Windows 7, but um, it has square corners to match like Windows 8. Now, we'll just use the Windows 7 theme just to show you guys. Now it has rounded, looks identical to the Windows 7 version. Only difference is you're in Windows 8. So I'm going to go back to default because I actually like that better. like how the buttons look and all that. Um, so another thing you can do, you can disable translucency. You can change the color of the start menu. All right, you guys, one thing I actually forgot to say in the tutorial um, is this right here. Uh, one of the things you can do with this is, oh, it's in style. Um, you can actually change the start button. Here, I completely forgot to mention it. You can use uh, one of the presets, which is the standard Windows 8 flag. You guys might remember that from the developer preview, um, the start 8 symbol, or you can actually use a custom image. And if you guys are familiar with, or familiar with any, um, like the videos that I showed you guys, uh, the tutorial about customizing Windows 7 with RT7 Lite, you'll know exactly what the images look like. If you guys don't, I'll show a picture of one of the start menu images up in the top left-hand corner of this video. Um, so, yeah, and all you have to do is click on Pick Image. Um, you can also hit this, and I believe you can download some, yeah, from Win Customize. So, 
I mean, this is essentially what they look like, but I'll still show you guys a dedicated one right up in the top left-hand corner like I said I would back then. Um, anyway, um, you can configure things like use large icons, um, what shortcuts do you want on the right-hand side, which I thought was, like, really cool. Um, so, like, say we wanted downloads because I always like that to be there. Um, another thing is... I know it's in here. Run. Run was never in the start menu uh, in Windows 7, which I really didn't like. So we're going to display that as a link. And now what you can do is, look, run is there and downloads are added, which I thought was, like, awesome that they could do that uh, because it really, like, I don't know, it kind of, like, showcases quite a bit. Um, and then you can also always go back into the Windows 8 version. So, yeah, I thought that was, like, a pretty cool feature. Uh, also, another thing you can set the power button to do a certain thing like you could in Windows 7. Um, now control. The start button shows the start 8 menu. Yes, Windows key, I always set it to show the Windows 8 menu because I love keyboard shortcuts and I think that they should stay true to what they are, but I mean, again, that's up to you. Um, what should happen when you were using a modern UI app? Windows key fades to display the and shows uh, start 8 menu, which in case you guys didn't know, um, one of the cool things about this is that Windows eight apps actually show up in it. So let me find one. Because I don't actually know where they're located in here. Oh, PC settings. Let's just use that as an example. So this shows off the perfect congruency between modern mix and start eight. I launched this from a normal start menu and it popped up in a normal window instead of normally being like this. So it's pretty awesome. And then you can always just use your hotkey to get back out of it. Um, also, uh, if you do have that setting enabled where this will appear on mouse over, um, if you were to move your mouse up here, it would show like the three normal things like close, uh, minimize, and maximize. Or maximize, minimize, same difference. Um, anyway, but yeah, you guys. So, uh, of course, as usual, all download links will be in the description. Um, you know what? Leave a comment and tell me what you guys think about the audio and if you guys like the video or not. Uh, I'm going to try to be doing a little bit more tutorials and, yeah, haven't done one in a while. So, because I'm trying out Audacity, that's why I want to know about the audio. Anyway, you guys, it's been MMFQ Death from MMFQ Team. If you guys can, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video or if it helped you in any way, shape, or form. Um, down below in the description, as always, there is my link to my Twitter, Facebook, and uh, my website. So, if you guys could check those out, that'd be awesome. All right, you guys. I uh, hope you all have a good day. It's been MMFG Death. Peace out.